One of my favorite quotes is from Francis of Assisi, who says, the journey is essential to the dream. I love this quote because it reminds me that to make dreams come true, we need to journey both inwardly and outwardly. In today's gospel, the astrologers and Joseph both experienced dreams that prompted them to travel to unexpected places. Likewise, God invites each of us to listen to our heartbeat, to our dreams, and to journey into them, perhaps in ways we hadn't thought possible. This morning, I want to talk about dreams, the desires of our heart, and how following them can change the course of our lives in small and significant ways. No matter how young or how old we are, every one of us is gifted with dreams, with heartfelt desires. Sometimes these are revealed to us through what we naturally enjoy, such as writing, listening, speaking, sports, music, through science, art, woodworking, business, animals, or the outdoors. Other times, God may place a desire on our heart through an event, or as in the gospel story, through the unconscious revelation of a dream. However it is revealed, we need to discern what God is inviting us to and journey into its unfolding, trusting that God is embracing us in her womb every step of the way. Let's consider some examples. The first illustration is about the fulfillment of dreams for multiple people. Recently, my friend, Stacy Hanrahan, gave me a copy of the book that she authored last year entitled, The Kent Road Kids Learn a Lesson About Being Different. It is a heartwarming story about her oldest son, John, now 38, who has Asperger's syndrome. Growing up, John dreamed of belonging and being part of the neighborhood buttercream gang that would ride bikes and play street hockey and basketball together. But Asperger's prevented him from doing these physical activities. One day, John's sister and brother explained to the neighborhood kids why John couldn't run and jump as well as they could. They all then dreamed of a way to include him. The next day, they gathered with all their equipment for their big street hockey game. And John was so excited to take part. For the first time ever, John became the official scorer, gave a colorful play-by-play, -play, and announced all the players by name. Everyone watching cheered loudly for all of them. John became the announcer for every Kent Road game that summer, and his reputation for stellar announcing spread throughout the community. John was ecstatic, as were all the Kent Road kids. In this story, John's dream of belonging to a team came true because his siblings and neighborhood friends were willing to find a way to make him part of the activities. And because John was willing to journey into something new and actively take part. Stacy, his mom, dreamed of writing a story about the challenges of autism spectrum disorder in the hope that it could be used as a learning tool for young children in schools. 
because she listened to her heartbeat and journeyed into writing this book. Many lives have been touched by her gratifying story. Our God's dream of love and understanding was surely embodied in the Kent Road Kids and in Stacey Hanrahan. The next two examples are brief and are related to the COVID pandemic times in which we're living. The first relates to the dream of discovery. For months, scientists and researchers have been dreaming of and journeying into the discovery of a safe and effective vaccine that would help end the pandemic and save lives. Vaccinations have now begun, but the gargantuan distribution effort is a continuing and at times overwhelming journey, medically, politically, and logistically. Personally, I am so grateful for all their work as our daughter Dana, who works directly with COVID patients in a Denver area hospital, received her first vaccination in mid-December and will receive the second one on Tuesday. It has been and will continue to be a journey of epic proportions. Our God is assuredly in the midst of this worldwide effort that has given us a deeper understanding and appreciation of our connection with one another. A related example is one that occurred the Sunday before Christmas. A few young women in our neighborhood dreamed of having light fill the darkness that has been part of the past several months. They chose to do this through luminaries, bags containing candles to be lit at dusk on surrounding sidewalks in a half mile radius involving over 100 homes. Their dream came true because they journeyed into conversations with people on the neighboring streets and neighbors responded so positively to their idea. The illuminations were beautiful for several hours as their dream of bringing light into the darkness was realized. God was truly present throughout this journey of darkness and light. As we begin this new year, I invite each of us to ponder what our dream is for the world, for our country, our family, our neighborhood community, our faith community, and ourselves. What journey do we need to take to make these dreams come true? Sit together with God as you ponder this. As Francis of Assisi said, the journey is essential to the dream. Continue on your journey to achieving your dreams.